Grüezi and welcome back to Endless Space 2, where today, hopefully, we might man manage to finish the game with uh, Hisho here by completing all the wonders. Uh, we will see how far we get, it's gonna take a couple of turns, and also, we still don't know how this is gonna turn out. So this is still something that could play in our favor, um, to catch you up in case the Umbral Choir takes over the system of Silphi here, the home system of the Vodiani, within the game as an alliance. A supremacy his uh, history, victory as an alliance. And we just had to accept a truce from those guys, that's okay, I guess. Some free money. Also, it wants to have a look at loss so that the thing is gone. Alright, let's get into that. Um, hacking, I don't think there's any point in hacking. Honestly, we'd need to go somewhere like uh, to Cruz or best of all to Hoth. Let, let's start a hack to Hoth. A very, very long one to Hoth. How long does okay, it take? 19 turns. It's actually not even that bad. So yeah, this is still under construction and I'm not sure whether there's something you can do to speed that up. I didn't have any look yet for technologies that give more production. This could potentially help. Um, this is just straight up 10% more, so that would be... Maybe let's do that next. As well as... Um, maybe not... Oh, you know what would be great? Haha. <laughs> I think it's here. No, this one then. Any food converted to industry when population is at maximum. Let's just check here quickly. That is a substantial amount, right? So that's almost double for the, the lowest food value there. I guess that's worth it. So let's queue that up as well. I still think this might... Yeah, let's do that last. I think this is more important. And uh, we got that. Interesting. We got K for free. Nice. Also soon an, an election and a level for our hero. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't really matter at this stage. Um, we have a fleet down here. Uh, right. We cannot attack the um, Cravers anymore, which is actually not too bad. That means we can't be stopped in our tracks. So, we can just help out here. Ooh, they're invading. And it looks pretty good. They should have this next turn, actually. And then it will take one more turn for us to win. Although I'm not sure whether it will be counted as colonized afterwards. We have an obliterator. Come on, continue. I want to see how this plays out. Alright, zero populations, but it's still ongoing. That means probably next turn then. Alright, we got uh, our faction quest here done. Was, in, was this the only one? Uh, yeah, I think that was the last faction quest then. Weird, weird way to, to stop that. Um, sure, wow, look at what they have here. My god. They look like they're close to a uh, scientific victory. Jeez. Um, industry would be nice. Anything with industry. Quadrinix toroids. Um, there's no industry stuff here at all. But there's, there's like uh, three scrolls worth of tech. Yeah, there's really no... I mean, we could do this, although it's not gonna help us at all. Hmm. Some more science might also be nice then. Oh wait, nullifies the effects of negative anomalies. That might be useful. Let's get that. And also, I'm so gonna hack those guys again. 17 turns. It's gonna be worth it. All right, let's have a look at our, what's it called? Obliterator. So we see here, Obliterate system is a fleet action that costs us a lot of uh, resources. 
Um, but that cost reduces every turn. And I think it's never going to be entirely for free. Um, if I'm No, actually it says in the bottom there, free after orbiting friendly system for 40 turns. So yeah, we can just also spend some resources to do it earlier, but we'll see. Uh, for now I'll just keep it here. And uh, the next time this buff runs out, I will put it on the obliterator. That also means that we can put the economic behemoth over to the next system I want to build my obelisk in. And we just keep moving with our fleets and this one you just sleep here, please. Perfect. And then I guess it's just button clicking here. Lots and lots of button clicking. Also, we have the K, we should probably make this fleet faster. You travel as fast as you can, if I can actually click the right thing. And we got a new tech for the food improvements. Oh, right. That actually plays in well with getting the building that transforms food into production. No more pirates. Nice. Finally, I never really had to deal with pirates in this playthrough. Which is sad because the Hisho are also better against them. So, what do we take here? Some more food. Since this is gonna be a strategy pretty soon. Alright, next turn. Let me see how expensive it is now to fire the obliterator. As you can also see here, 10 out of 22, we are allowed to bring this into a fleet. We can combine it with other ships, something that's not possible with a normal behemoth. Um, so yeah, it's still super expensive. Uh, okay, we're now in the truce, or no, in a cold war with those guys. Oh, that's just rooting out the, the pirate hero there. Not interested. Uh, you know what, why not? Some dust usage reduction is always nice. And we just need this fleet to move as fast as it can. But it's still so far away. How are you doing down there, by the way? How are you still holding up? This is weird. Maybe they're using the tactic to turn Essence into manpower? Because they just gained 300 manpower there. Oh, it's over? What happened? Oh, you know what? I think the Umbel Choir can't properly take over the system. They can make the population become... Uh, what's it called? sleeper agents so that's kind of um, concerning they can't even do the job I didn't think about that I always forget about that because you know it's like invasions should do something useful but I guess that's not the case for the I mean it is useful getting getting sleepers for the humble choir is very useful but yeah not what I thought. So, I think pacifist still serves us, so we're gonna continue being pacifist. Do we now have access to the new law for, like, percentage bonuses based on number of allies? That would be nice. Uh, indeed, no. But more luxury if we wanted. Yeah, close to Wonder Victory. That's just because we bought or built one. Alright, so the economic one goes to the next system we built this in. So... Oof, um, with here 500... 300... 864. Now that was a candidate anyway. Then Amex at 635. So Cephos is at the better point with 698. Oh, this one is also better. Ingris. So Ingris and um, Nerod are the candidates. Wait, 900, uh, almost 800. This is 900 and Nerod has over 800. Yeah, right. Nerod and Ingris. 
So let's do Nerod first, maybe. So you get over there. And do your economy thing over there. That means um, for a short time we'll lose the bonus on the systems that will not be covered by this behemoth. Uh, but that's not that big of a deal. Yay, we built one. So, Nerod, you have the honor. Also, I should probably buy out some of the other things that you could have here. Uh, more food. We're going to use that shortly. That's very expensive. Uh, and some science, because why not? Oh, right. So, everything's set up. We're out of money, basically. And we continue. Um, just some... Yeah, some percentages to everything. Always nice. Yeah, you already have that, so maybe this one then. Who is our political guy here? Uh, can I look at this guy here? Where are you stationed? In Justium. Alright. That's alright. So... What are our fleets? Nowhere close yet. Here. Interesting, they chose to skip all that stuff here. Oh, they have fast movement here. Nice. Outside of star lanes because of the... I don't even know, because of the engine they use? I still wonder why they took this path. Look at that, 27 turns. That takes so long. And we need to use influence. I think I already spent a bunch, yeah. Wow, but look at the Vodiani. I can still spend more, mind you. Let's just throw another 5,000 in there. And I have the Vault Keeper giving me more access to laws, which honestly at this point I don't think we'll need anymore. I should have changed away from the pacifists so I could just then choose pacifist as my second party and choose all the laws. Uh, you get some more luxuries here. Actually, can I upgrade some of the systems? I haven't paid attention to any of that. I should probably actually look more into what systems can actually build now. Since I unlocked a couple of new things. Like this here. And our science is still not great. I don't think I can afford microwave pipes at this moment. And I should check whether uh, Nerod has them. Yeah, Nerod has them. Nice. Um, right, anybody else? What about Emix? Oops, that's not what I wanted. So yeah, definitely also that here. I mean, I can also put some more food out. I don't think it's quite necessary, but definitely remove all those uh, bad... Um, not curiosities, what are they called? Anomalies. I think that was the only one we had. I don't see any. Wait, that, I think that was the... Yeah, that was the one we just queued up. Alright, nice. Uh, let's check Let's check all the systems. So you can also put in this one. And uh, 25... Or actually, 40% on top of 1.7k is quite significant. Mm, also some, 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 some what? We could could do the food thing, but maybe only after we actually did the upgrade there, because it's also going to be quite expensive to build. So, Ingress. You build also the science stuff. Uh, here it's not that great, but still better than nothing. So, Cepheus is next. You actually also need... No, you don't need this one. Not that great here. And another system level. I didn't realize we had so many luxuries available. Now, it's just care left over for also the same science upgrades. Also not that big of a difference, but still useful. All right. So you just stay here and do some defending, and it jumped from, I think it was still 27 to 22, that's more reasonable. And as a matter of fact, we do have another slot free, so we might just build another one. 
in anywhere we get to build, actually. So... Oh, I do want to also build a juggernaut, damn it. Come on. Because look at this bad boy. It has a module modifier times 8. I think the... Uh, carriers might also have times 8, I'm not quite sure. So I'm, I'm also not sure whether these weapons are front facing or side facing. They might be side facing, broadside. It's kind of hard to say for the for this guy. Uh, you could also have Strycraft, right? Maybe let's put in Strycraft and then this one here. Though we probably could do way more damage if we just added straight lasers, right? Let's do this. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I like this. Oh, this one can only have Strycraft. Interesting. Then maybe we do that. Like so. Okay, defensive slots. Uh, let's put in two um, plating and one shield like we usually do. And then we definitely need an engine worthy of the craft. I don't think evasion is something we desperately need here. Ooh, that's nice. More damage and double the K gain. I've never seen that before. I'm honestly, I have also, I think, never built a juggernaut before. Um, you know what? Why not? Although, tractor beam would probably be more useful. So those uh, pesky little uh, enemies don't run away. So, Juggernaut, I mean, we're not going to use it. And I think for our victory, we should focus on getting that done. So maybe we're just going to build a an upgrade here and then... Actually, no, we need a, an economic one. It's going to also take quite a lot of turns. And maybe we can buy some of that off later on. But enough talking, more action. And you, fly faster, please. We have open borders with those guys, right? Where's your capital? We also have a lot of systems here. This is a pleasure. Uh, looks like it, yeah. For some reason they like us. Because we might have a common enemy? Shared common opinion of someone. I wonder who that is. Probably the Cravers? Uh, oh no, the Vodiani, of course. We have now a population bonus of the Ambler. Let's just have a look. I think it's maybe 10. Where are they? Yeah, just 10. Nothing special. A little more pacifist. And some more hero skills. Science is always nice, although this is a percentage bonus. Percentage bonus are better in the late game. For sure. And um, this is leading nowhere. I think they're still just, just incapable of taking it over. And as long as they're there, I can't really help either. Because once uh, an ally blockades a system, they kind of have the rights for invasion. Which sucks, because we could actually resolve the issue if our fleets ever get there. But we might be just, you know, going back to... Um, what's it called? Cold War. And then from there go attack again after they have left. Uh, they could not afford the science agreement, which is sad. And I could, that's just some lowly population stuff. A uh, system with production where there, there is pilgrims. I do not care. It's interesting, they skip all the, the lanes there. So you're straight going for that system, I guess. This is funny, it's never seen that before. I mean, I, I no, I did see that before, but it, it was a... a... hero that was a scout hero? Actually, this might actually also be a scout hero. Is he? Yes, he's a scout hero. So. Um, this technology gives double the free movement and this is um, meaning not on star lanes. So that's why it's faster doing it this way than traveling on star lanes. 
uh, now in a Cold War state with the Cravers. And you're now distressed, which is alright for me, I don't care about that. And some more hero skills, like um, pff, this one. Alright, we have a uh, thing to put on our obliterator. And also we can have a look at how far along we are here. Still very expensive. Yep, very expensive. And we will get less... Um, influence for four turns after using it but that's fine i i want to be using it once in this this playthrough just so i can show you the animation because i think it looks not too bad it i think it looks better if you use the planet cracker module on where is it over here i think yeah one of those core cracker modules on a carrier or i think also behemoth Probably also an arc. Ships. Don't crash, thank you. Um, that animation also looks pretty nice. Also, 60% more food, that's sick. And my fleet should just keep moving. Um, you want to talk? Okay. I don't do uh, basic diplomatic demands, it's usually just not worth it. They can just say no, and then at least the penalties are are higher if you do an advanced um, thing. They are co close to conquest. Well, I guess they do have a lot of systems, right? We are still first. 50 out of 90. That's a lot. Uh, right, we got the food improvement, so we should definitely... Buy the build that and buy that out immediately in uh, Narod here. This will just give us 1.1k more production. This should uh, speed things up quite a lot. And uh, the next one should be, I think, Ingris, I said, right? I can never make up my mind. Yes, Ingris. So you definitely also get that. That's actually fairly quickly. And then some more food. And that's all I can do then to improve your things here. Oh, that's bad. Although maybe it's not that bad. I mean, we're still on the way to to them there. So we can just park in their system, hope that the Umbral Choir goes away. I really hope they do. And then we can blockade the system and invade in one turn. How long do you have to, to arrive? Five turns, okay. Oh yay, we got the Vault Keeper thing. So we can now choose a party that we can get all the laws from. Like, um, plus six industry per planet is not too bad. So maybe we can do that. Yeah, I think that's the only one that really makes sense. I mean, this is just 10%. Uh, definitely, yeah, let's go for, for Industrialist. That was the initial plan anyway, like about 60 turns ago or so, but I totally screwed it up. Alright, so, um, let's see here. Some more upgrades for the heroes. And, yep, more upgrades. Boring upgrades for everybody. Alright, let's put in that law. So, our science is alright right now, so we don't really need to push that anymore. But we definitely like this one. I can even afford it. Didn't think I would. So yeah, actually we should probably also get rid of that. Oh, that's for radius. Although we don't need it anymore since we have this one now. Right. So, anything else? I mean, this one might help. Wartime taxes, that doesn't matter. Yeah, just maybe this one. I mean, that's still a percentage bonus that can make a difference. But that means we can't really afford it anymore. So maybe... Uh, with who do I have another contract? I think with you, probably. So cancel the science agreement. There we go. So now we have the influence again. We could have uh, tanked through for a bit, but uh, this is the safer way. Alright, so we went from 17 turns, let's say minus 1, 16 to 8. 
we just doubled our production here. So now it's really a race of uh, whether this works or no, actually whether the fleet here works or whether we can get our wonder victory. At least that keeps it a little interesting, I guess. So we got food improvements. That's nice. That's I don't care. Look, guys, I would love to, but I can't afford it right now. So a lot of things have been finished. That's fine. And you get some... I don't even know what you get. Uh, production, I guess. How close are we to be able to afford that? Still very far away. Super far away. Also, our fleet is no longer no longer fast. Let's fix that. Yay! Does it use the hyperlane here? Potentially, but I think not. It looks like it's off. Let's just see. There should be an animation played if it uh, kind of docks in Lacerta. And I mean, it's, it wouldn't be that big of a difference anyway so no it, it went straight on that's really nice all right so you get some uh, uh, you could get some more percentage dust there how close are we here um, you need to do the food things so in four turns you're finished with that and then you can practically straight continue with this one you know what we will also buy this one I don't think it's going to make a difference, but you know, you never know. So it was six before. If it's four, it would be perfect. Ah, it didn't. Well, we tried. Oh, we are out of science. Okay, that was the this one. So we should definitely also buy that out in at least here in Ingress. Or do we need to? We don't need to buy it out. We can just let it build naturally. And yeah, the rest is not really interesting. Yay, we found 80% of the galaxy. Uh, does this matter? Not really. Where are the stations in Gano? Yeah, that doesn't matter there. I really need to try to pull this off with uh, ridiculously reduced um, build times because that, that looked really fun. Said we couldn't really benefit from that a lot, but it's also very often that tier 5 and 4 technologies don't really matter anymore. So what would we get? Um, doesn't really matter anymore. Just something that makes us stronger, I guess. Something that we don't have to build, preferably as well. Something like this one here. Uh, not that great. Let's get this. This is like the special tech. Let's let's just do that. So yeah, having the fast shipyard there. It looks like it's going pretty well here with the. One, the construction. We also have enough resources to construct the next one as soon as we're done with the other one. And yeah, this is just taking forever. Oh, you know what we could have done? There's an upgrade here that makes it go faster. The charging. Um, we need more two more tacks here, though. Hmm. What would we get? Doesn't really matter. Oh, you know what? Um, the That's cloaking... This is, this is cloaking. The cloaking detection for level 3 is only up here. That's sad. Um, let's get this one. That The blast effect is good for the accompanying... Uh, I can't talk anymore. Strikecraft fleet. And the cravers don't like us. What a revelation. How close are you? You are actually really close. Next turn you're there. Um, but yeah, the problem is they still haven't moved away. And as far as it looks, they are blockading the system. K-1 
Can we kind of... You know what? I will try this. I will go to war with the Nakalim here. And, like, tell them to go and attack a system there. Oh, we don't need that anymore. Uh, you guys, please... Oh, oh, we have to see where that is. Who is that? Roy is... The first... Oh, that's the... Wow! That's the Umbral Choir who did that. So, I wanted to attack there, please. And the cane. Um, so, from where to where? There is an obliterator here, but I don't see any missiles, projectiles anywhere. Maybe it went somewhere we don't see. I mean, usually it don't doesn't travel too far. From H A T from here, I hope it doesn't target one of our systems with the wonders. That would be terrible. I mean, we do have shields here. We don't have one here yet. Um, you know what? I'm I'm a uh, afraid. I will just buy this. In the worst case, we lose half of our stuff and the system improvement. Okay, so we can now denounce or study, but I mean, it doesn't really matter this one, we already have the cost. Obliterator research cost, construction cost. Let's, let's study, because we don't want to denounce them, they are at least our allies. At least for now, I don't know <laughs> where they fired their weapon. Maybe I can like track it from here. Does it go anywhere? It's already out of sight. I don't know where it went. He makes us be compromised. I don't care. I also don't see any systems that don't have planets anymore. So it really must be something we don't see. Right, nothing special here. All right, so you arrived, and I can't do anything here because the system is being guarded by those guys. Well, I guess you just wait then, and let's see whether the Dumbrel Choir actually moves over here. All right, then for now we can just continue clicking. Oh, it wants demand. Nice, so we will definitely do economic sanctions. That might hurt them quite a lot. And for the rest, let's get an economic tribute, because why not? And... Give me your adamantium. Thank you. They might actually do that. No? Okay. Alright. So, let's go to the next turn and continue here with our wondrous wonders. Justium is done with the economic behemoth. I don't think it's... Yeah, it doesn't... It's not worth it to put it there. So let's just already put it to increase and let it start doing its business there. We also have one turn we can spend on something else here. What is this? Oh, oh, we got the, the upgrade there. Um, This is just for strip construction, so that doesn't matter. Um... You know what? This is one turn and it will actually help protect the system, so that's fine. We did we still grow in populations. This is crazy. It was probably the last one. Alright, so which system would we use to build our uh, ships from? Probably all Valdi. So you stop doing that for a second. We need this one to make more production and more production and more production and then this one this will be nice and then I could even move the hero over that has the behemoth thing 
So Justium is now also on science business, I guess. Like so. We still have enough, that's fine. And the rest is just XP. So uh, set it to... Oh, I forgot about that. Counselors are great for his show. Man, I really forgot about that. That's one way you can also play with the He Show. Just have a lot of uh, counselors that give you straight up K. Things you realize once it's too late, right? Okay, so I think nothing else has changed here. Actually, is there a way I can hotkey this? No, there's not. That's sad. I guess I can just like go to the fleet menu because in scrolling down there is tedious to say the least. So no situation change there. Let's see, can we do that? Oh yeah, that works. Nice. I just open the system and then scrolled out of it. So increase is done, but this system isn't done yet. That That's sad, so we need to find something else here then for one turn. Uh, how about some magnetic generators then? Oops, I should maybe use the left click and not the right click. Oh, right, we had a hero loss at some point in the past. Completely forgot about that. The, the fleet we, we sacrificed. Can we afford that now? Not really. Sorry, guys. Also, we managed to hack the these guys again. So what would we do? That would be nice. Some more population slots. Yeah, let's do that. And I'll continue to do that hack. They can't defend against it, so that's also super fine. That means more population growth in Gano. Nice. You should definitely also have this one, some faster growing. And why not? Although, no, I will need a uh, Adamantian. Never mind then. So here we just are defending. The Obliterator is still too expensive. Actually, we're close. It's just Adamantian that we're lacking right now. But first we'll build the improvement and then the rest can be spent on Obliterator du duty. Also, I don't quite know yet which system I shall obliterate. Alright, Nerod has done its job. Marvelous. And you go now to, I guess, this one here. Why not? It's just gonna take two turns, but still. And you go over here. And we need more production on all of those. And increase is done too. So you do now the obelisk of all space time. Oh wait, now it's more expensive. Oh no. Or I miscalculated. There's a lot of it on the market though, so I'm fine. That is uh, 63. That was dumb. So that's only 12 turns. I think we can soldier through this. Might become a little long episode, but uh, I think that's a good one here. Yay, the alliance is close to a wonder victory. Interesting. I mean, we still need to leave our alliance for that purpose. So, what do we steal from those guys? Honestly, core crackers are nice. Let's get core crackers. Uh, we don't actually have a ship yet we can put those on. Let's just, just also queue that up. And you... some production and some food. Food equals production at this stage anyway. And this is just also awesome. And you get this one as well. Look at our passive K income now. It's gonna go to uh, 1.23. 1 Isn't that marvelous? And yeah, right, we need to hack up here. Let's just do the same thing again. Maybe let's take the faster route now. Like so. I wonder why I did it this way, that was weird. Alright, ten more turns and then we're done. And I don't think this is developing in any good way down here. 
Wow, what's happening here? Um, Sophons, did you potentially, like, screw with the, um, academy, maybe? These are, yeah, this is academy fleet. Why would you do that? Oh, we even accidentally completed the quest here. And Justium needs to, to build something. Well, that's definitely the super beer fuel factory. Biofuel. I am sorry, I can't English. Um, right. Doesn't matter, but still. Yeah, there's nothing useful going on here. Uh, you know what? Wait. What? We are too polite to say what we are. Oh, right. Um, you have another matter to discuss with the church? I don't think that matters. I mean, we have closed borders, but that means we can just not explore there. Sad. But whatever. So, this means we just need a lot of um, adamantium at this stage. And maybe we can just buy that. And you know, there's a little system here that has a craver symbol. And cravers are evil. Or we can just like, you know what, I know what we do. <laughs> we screw our alliance over. For the for the best of it. Um, right, some science done. Okay, we can now also get the top tier one here to speed this one up. Not that it matters anymore, because at that time we the game is over. But still. Uh, yeah, whatever, you get that. Just do something. We are now in a cold war with those guys, that's fine. And you want me to go? I will not. Why do you get so many levels? I don't know what to put it in. Uh, here, take this. Right, and... You can now move. Interesting. So let's just do some exploring. Maybe we find a system that has been destroyed. So far, no luck. Okay. Let's keep going. Only eight turns to victory. I need to time the leaving the alliance properly because otherwise it might be difficult to uh, get it. We might need to do one more turn or something. I had that before. We found the Kalgaros. Interesting. That there's still minor factions around at this stage of the game. I'm just more or less uh, randomly assigning skills now. Uh, wow. Did we attack them? Or did they attack us? If they attacked us, that's kind of disconcerting. Um, right. We could buy some more Adamantian. Or we can spend the money to invest here. 13 million. Um, yeah, we, we, we probably can take like one, maybe two turns off of that. So the other one has also arrived now, so that's fine. You have arrived here and you can just continue looking for that system that has been destroyed. I really wonder where. Yeah, I don't see anything. But I mean, again, I would have seen the projectile, because it's a very visible projectile. Well, Valdi needs to build something, and why not adaptive taxation systems? Because, you know, a lot of fertile planets here. <clears throat> we also got this. Pointless, and some more things to build. You know what? <clears throat> Excuse me, let's just put it on public-private partnerships for now. There's not much more to do. Just wait. And see what our fleet discovers. So we'd need 141. How expensive is that? 72. You know what? Let's do that. Let's screw over some some allies. But who? I was kind of afraid of the Umbral Choir, that they are actually using that technology. That's kind of scary. So... Uh, I, I will go for the Cravers. This is too dangerous. And we are at war with them, so... We have a reason to do so. And boom. 
So yeah, this is a very visible projectile. And it doesn't even travel so far, so we should have seen it going somewhere. Oh, already truce. Interesting. Uh, doesn't matter to me. We are denounced, and we are denounced, and we are, let me guess, denounced. How interesting. Couldn't see that coming. So let's just see how this unfolds. It's getting closer. It really reminds me of the beam in the one of the Star Wars movies, the, the newest ones, I don't remember which one. Um, I guess we can have some, yeah, some smart taxes here. And then also some public, pri public private partnerships. So if we get this guy onto a system that has this behemoth improvement, that would be nice. Minus 40% and like 30% more. Uh, but yeah, let's 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 not move that around too much. We have this fleet that just arrived and still not any systems that are destroyed. Hmm. Alright. Two more turns and alright. Oh, uh, militarists? No. Pacifists, of course. The he show pacifists. They would they would uh Oh look how close it is. <laughs> they would be so mad if, if uh they knew how I played them. Because it's really wrong to play the Hisha this way. In my opinion, at least. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Uh, okay, no one arriving nowhere. So, let's see how this goes. I think there's not a really animation for that, apart from the thing arriving. But let's see. Goodbye, Gruz. Also a rather worthless system anyway, because, you know, it has cravers on it. Um, so yeah, Gruz was destroyed. It's funny that we didn't get such a thing from the other one before. We destroyed a fleet and some populations and improvements. Nice. And... Boom. I didn't remember that there is this animation, but yeah, it's nice. And now all of the planets are destroyed. This one looks funny. Interesting. Yeah, let's see. So, our rolls will be over in five turns, but in five turns the game should be over. So, um, yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter anymore. In two turns we will leave the Alliance, so that we have one turn left on this one. And that should give us just uh, the trigger to finish the game. I just need to hope that in that time nobody fires an obliterator missile against me because that would be scary we found Teona and it has also not been destroyed so I really don't know where that has been maybe up here somewhere everybody has um, the big shapes except me I don't care all right next turn the last one before this is over I shouldn't be losing any buffs from no longer being in alliance with those guys. I mean, just this one, that's alright. The rest is not that important. Some lost hero skills. Alright, so, time to leave the alliance then. Guys, it has been fun, but, um. Wait, what? Oh, no, sorry. I know. You could run it without me now. So suddenly I am close to a wonder victory. I am no longer in control of the constellation. What? Oh, maybe I also got those then. Weird. Um, right. Yeah, Hydras. And probably also this 
Kamael. But it all doesn't matter anymore because once I press this button, boringly but effectively, I should have won the game. Yay! It can't reload properly. Let's go to the score screen and let's have a look at how I did. I mean, the answer is terribly, because, I mean, it took us 200 turns and... Warrior or priest, reformer or traditionalist, the Hisho are united. We still wield the ancient blades and the ancient ways. For even in this modern galaxy, tradition holds great power. My blade is complete. My people reign supreme. And we are just beginning. Right, so yeah, the answer was we're we did terribly. We already knew that. So, looking at the overall score, uh, we're Dark Red. Yeah, we're like third. Food, we're doing not that great. Industry, not that great. Dust, yeah, it's... Actually, that was surprising good from the uh, Umbral Choir there. Science, yeah, pretty bad. Wow, nice done. Influence is okay. Yeah, we're really not that good. <laughs> we're bad at everything. Trade, yeah, we didn't have any trade. Expansion, couldn't go higher, really. Heroes, we were good in heroes. That That's something to take along with. And military, yeah, we've also no, never been great. So, overall, this was just a terrible playthrough. Uh, I hope you still enjoyed it, nevertheless. I mean, I had fun. And... Um, Come back next time where we start a new playthrough with another faction that I have not yet decided. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.